and welcome to another one of my videos. Now today I'd like to take another look at France and take a look at one of their RIEs or individual training rations. Now these are small rations, they don't contain any drinks or heating elements but they are designed for a sim simple single meal. So let's get this on a table and see what this pack contains. So, as you can see, I now hear on the table this uh, French RIE, or individual ration, using exercise. It's a very simple meal, simplistic box. I believe these are usually eaten cold in training um, circumstances. So, let's use a little knife, get this open. A little bit tricky, even though it's a simple cellophane wrap. Now, this particular one is the menu two which I think is a chicken couscous style salad. So, simple little tape secure in the box shut there. Just bring the knife back in again just to open. And let's open this up and see what we have inside. So, move it off to the side here. And straight off, we have a little pack of the biscuits. We have a 60% cocoa chocolate bar. There is the mains, and it looks like it is the couscous uh, salad, a chicken couscous. Um, I'm not sure, but I think they might be uh, tuna in, um, sorry, mackerel in tomato sauce, but we'll have a look at that proper translate in a little while. There is a pudding, a nugget bar, and the customary tissues or teepees. So, this is in the entire contents of this little RIE, individual exercise ration. So let's get this out on a tray and see what they look and taste like. So, as you can see, I now have this French RIE out on the tray. And the first thing we notice, as we said when we unboxed it, there's a, a lack of drinks. So, I'm assuming because this is a training ration, the uh, troops would get coffee served to them in the training rooms. If not, they would always have a canteen. So, there is a, a glass of water there. So, let's start having a look at some of the contents here so first off we have some salt biscuits so small packet just a couple of packs in here the 24 hour pack the French 24 hour pack have much larger packs of these but these are just a couple of packs of the salt biscuits there let's move that to one side we also have the mains now I'm not even going to attempt to name this uh, tabule um, but I believe it's basically a couscous salad with chicken and a few peppers and other ingredients. So let's get the top off that. Again, no eating element. I think it's designed to be eaten cold, um, straight as it is out of the tin. So just get rid of that lid there. So that's an interesting looking salad there there's a nice smell coming from there already it looks like there's olive oil floating on the top there we um, also have some mackerel fillets in tomato sauce or tomato sauce depending on the world where you're from where i'm from it's tomato and this is very much like a pate type idea so not the sort of tomato sauce i was thinking of but it's it looks like a pate a fish pate we also have a pudding, um, a caramel flavoured pudding. So we'll just open that ready. Very soft looking caramel looking pudding there. That's gone all over me. We also have a 60% dark chocolate um, chocolate bar. Nice little bar of chocolate there. Slightly bloomed, not too badly, nice condition. And a fruit nugget bar where we come from here in the UK, or nougat if you're from other parts of the world. And that's a nice little 
fruit encrusted nugget or nougat bar so um, like the lack of the drinks there is also a lack of cutlery here so I'm just going to bring in the good old trusty US MRE spoon to help with this and we'll just get one of these packets of biscuits open so these are the salt biscuits and there is four in total two packs of two but I shall open just the one for the demonstration purposes now where do we start I think it'll only be right to start with some of the mains so I believe this is couscous with large chunks of chicken a huge chicken chunk there um, we'll get this out on the tray a little bit easier to manage so it's congealed as I say nice large portion absolutely huge pieces of chicken um, or turkey it says poultry let's see if I can pick one of those up there absolutely huge piece there I'm going to go for a smaller piece because I don't have a knife so a smaller piece of the I think it's chicken could be turkey it's certainly poultry mm. still has texture indistinct flavor of what actual meat that is I'm going with chicken we'll try some of the peppers and the couscous now in the sauce it's oily there is a taste of mixed herbs certainly black pepper I would say some onion a little bit of garlic in the background certainly some bell peppers and tomato very mild very greasy the oil is there it's the olive oil it coats your tongue as you eat very light in flavor quite salty there's quite a high salt content this time the overall flavor that's coming through is the mixed herbs there is a uh, good selection of mixed herbs in there personally I don't think there's a lot of flavor apart from that might in this case have done with some hot sauce or something to add a little bit of extra flavor but it's salty it's got plenty of pepper there is a, a greasy oily um, olive oil texture to it you can feel that olive oil on your tongue in your mouth um, the chicken is very even though there are large large pieces of chicken meat in there it's very nondescript in flavor it is mainly, I don't know if you can see there, the mixed herbs that are flavoured coming through on the dish. Um, the couscous, the couscous grains there, nicely cooked, nice and soft, dissolves in your mouth, very oily, has absorbed a lot of that olive oil, but they're nice, easy to eat. simplistic meal so I'm just going to wipe the oil off the spoon there there was a lot of oil on the spoon and I think we'll take a look at this tuna and tomato uh, sorry not tuna mackerel mackerel and tomato it's a, like a fish paste it's flakes very much like sardines in tomato sauce I don't know, in, in the UK we have sardines in oil sardines in brine, sardines in tomato sauce this tastes just like the sardines in the tomato sauce or pilchards in tomato sauce that sort of flavour fishy, you can taste the uh, mackerel fillets in there let's try a little bit with the biscuit, so just snap the cracker nice crisp crack not a crisp biscuit relatively soft slightly salted and again very light on flavour not a very distinct sort of flavoured biscuit a good all round base style biscuit let's try 
a little bit, try and get it without spilling it everywhere, a little bit there with the um, mackerel. Mm -hmm. Good base biscuit. It says it's salt, but it is actually slightly sweet as well. It is sweet. Try a little bit with the, the oily mains there. Again, nice, good all around base. Doesn't add a great deal to the flavour of either of the dishes, but it does make a good, slightly sweet, um, I'd say more sweet than salty. These are supposed to be the salt biscuits, but personally I think there's actually slightly more sweet. A good background biscuit or cracker to go with the mains and this side mains there. Now, I'm going to bring in a second USMRE spoon because this one is now really greasy with the oils from both of those dishes. I'm going to take a look at this caramel pudding. So, it looks like there's a separation going on there. There's a caramel sauce separated, floated to the top. It's nice and soft. Mm. Sweet. Smooth. Separation going on. Definite caramel flavour. Mm. Soft. Smooth. Creamy. Caramel flavoured. Sweet. Uh, pudding. Enjoyable. Nice. Enjoyable bit of sweetness there. And a taste of water. Just to cleanse the palate there. Now we'll have a look at this 60% dark chocolate. Nice snap. Not bloomed too heavily. Just take a little bite off the edge there. Firm. Brittle chocolate. Good cocoa content. Slightly bitter by the high cocoa content. There's a slight bitterness there. That in no way is a bad thing. That just shows the high content of the cocoa. I think once you go past about 50, heading towards 60% and above, the bitterness of the cocoa starts to come through. Um, and it certainly is with this. So it's a good high cocoa content chocolate. Brittle. After you chew, it dissolves, melts on your tongue, coats your tongue with a nice dark chocolate. Now, the nugget or nougat bar. Now, I've heard a lot of people say these French smell of paint, so... There is a, a smell to it. Um, it's not a sort of paint we recognise here in the UK, but there is a, a strange sort of background smell there. Nice and soft. Lots of fruit. Let's break it apart, so I'll picture that. Soft, chewy, fruit is indistinguishable, you can't tell what fruit that is. Just a sugary, sweet, soft, energy rich um, piece of nugget, nougat bar, quite soft, very soft, but very tasty. So, brief recap, biscuits says they are salt but personally i think they are more sweet than salt um pretty nondescript uh, nice crisp snap but when you actually eat them they're not um crisp um, like some of the other crackers um does make a good background base for the mains the couscous and the chicken huge chunks of chicken um, there is some texture left that chicken, you do need to chew it, it is definitely a meat, it's not falling apart in your mouth, but that says, not a lot of flavour, it is predominantly um, olive oil with mixed herbs, so if you know um, the flavour of mixed herbs and olive oil, that is a flavour pretty much um, quite salty, but overall a very light, very easy going meal, personally think would have improved with a little bit of hot sauce or a little bit of some extra flavouring but nobody should have problems actually eating this meal. The mackerel and tomato um, mixed into like a paste does taste very much like sardines in tomato that you get in a can um, or the 
pilchards in tomato, but they're normally the whole fish. These looks feels like they've been mixed together, the sauce and the fish, and then put into a can as a sort of pate. But it is a nice, enjoyable, light fish flavoured pate. The caramel um, pudding, smooth, sweet, um, definitely a taste of caramel there. Nice, enjoyable after dinner bit of sweetness. Chocolate, slightly bitter because of the high cocoa content. It's brittle. Um, it takes some chewing to get going, but once you've chewed, it then starts to coat your tongue, coat your mouth with a nice dark chocolate. Um, the nugget or nougat, depending on whether in the world you're from, a little bit uninspiring. It's a sweet, sticky, um, bit of energy rich sweetness. Unidentifiable, the fruits, but it is just a sweet, sticky little piece of nugget or nougat. So, I'm going to leave it here. Overall, a very simplistic, um, not overly flavoured meal, but one which should be enjoyed by most people. There's certainly nothing there that's offensive. So, I'm going to leave it here. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification button for future videos coming very soon. So thank you and goodbye.